As soon as I walk out from the elevator, I am greeted with two hand sanitizers for anybody who wants to sanitize their hands. And let's walk through the hallway here. We can see rooms left and right. My room is on the left, right here. But before I go in there, I want to show you a, um, a kitchen that everybody uses, which is this one. It's a huge kitchen that everybody can use. You can see two sinks and some coffee tables that you can sit on or a big table that you can dine on. You can use either of the sinks and everything's basically here. Microwave, toasters, and some cabinets so you can store your um, stuff in. And um, this is a fridge that everybody uses. There's a refrigerator and a freezer. So everyone usually keeps their stuff in there. It's very big, but I can hardly find spaces in there for my stuff. People usually put their names on the containers. Um, this is a freezer. I usually never keep my stuff in here just because I don't feel too comfortable. Most rooms or doors in Korea have this electric keypad system instead of keys to open them manually. And ta-da! Welcome to my room. That is the door that I just walked into and as soon as I walk in, I see my closet to the right. Uh, this is a huge closet for any rooms in Korea actually, so I'm very happy with it. This is where I keep all my shoes. Oh, please excuse me uh, for the shoes that I kind of piled up in there. Um, other spaces are for um, other clothing. I have my padding up there because it's kind of long and this is where I usually fold my clothes and kind of organize them and I got this um, attached thing from Daiso so I can hang extra um, hangers on the door for my pants which is pretty useful and this is another closet for long jackets or long paddings um, another space that I've been using this is my huge desk that the dorm or school provided me with. Um, it's actually very big, but I personally do not like this desk because I find um, this extra space on the right, as you can see, very um, useless. I don't know if I'm supposed to use it as an armrest or just for extra space. So I sometimes find myself a little confused with um, whether to face forward or to the corner and this chair i have is not very comfortable either so i don't really use it and i find this um, extra space on the top uh, for my vitamins cups books i don't have too much stuff anyway i have extra jewelry space on the left which i keep my some other shenanigans in there and there are drawers on the left I organize them by the things I need. Medicine drawer, the previous one was my manicure drawer. And there's a, um, I have two windows on one wall and there's a window right next to my desk. Now the light is turned on. I wish it's um, the daytime so I can show you the view outside. But since it's night right now, I'll just show you the nighttime. So I scroll up this thing when I want to see outside I kept I have some fake plants here whoops um, it's not snow guys it's actually mold haha <laughs> I got them from Daiso so you should not get plants from Daiso or I might have I'm just a bad plant mom and these are some fake plants uh, you cannot really see outside because of the reflection um, but if I need some air, I just have to open it this way. Air coming in completely. That's how it looks like from outside. And during the summertime, I have to keep the mosquitoes away from my room. So I just keep that down. And let's just close it because it's very cold today. So I usually have this thing down because I don't want people to see me from outside. So I had to find myself a cute cozy space in this room and 
since there was an awkward space between my bed and my desk, I decided to put a small couch there. Um, there are no legs in the couch. I purchased it from Coupang for about 70,000 won, which wasn't cheap um, or cheaper than I had expected. But it actually does its job. I can actually open this couch up or this chair up and it becomes like a small mat mattress where people can sleep on. So I used it when my friends or family came over. And I got this uh, small coffee table. It's actually bigger than um, it looks. Pretty spacious. I got it off of Coupang too for about 20,000 won. It's uh, pretty sturdy, sturdier than I thought. So I really like it. I usually eat there or read or study there if I find uh, my desk kind of uncomfortable and I also got this little cute white mat off of coupon too I think this was about 20,001 I can't recall but I just wanted it there to uh, feel cozy when I put my feet down there so this is kind of cute right I put the lights up this is the view of my bed in the corner pretty spacious for myself as you can see, this room does not have any cute makeup stand, so I had to DIY for myself a cute corner for my makeup. I got this wooden storage rack from Coupang too. This was only like 15,001. It's not that sturdy, but it does its job. I think this is like a rack for shoes or some plants. I just keep my lotion, skincare products, um, I just have to sit down on the floor and do my makeup and daily skincare routine. This is also a small mirror I purchased off of Coupon. I kind of regret not getting the full body mirror because it's kind of too short for me. Um, I can't really view my whole body. So I wish um, I can just purchase the body one, but oh well. And let's continue to my bathroom. Small mat there from Daiso. I also got this rack from Daiso so I can um, hang my huge towel there. I don't have much going on in my bathroom. I just have my essentials. Um, I purchased that rack you can see on the mirror from Daiso too so I can uh, keep my little bottles. I have to stand when I shower, which is kind of inconvenient, but I try my best not to splash water. It's a small um, cabinet for my stuff. I have my things going on, on at the sink. My makeup remover. Yeah, I don't have a lot in the bathroom. Just the essentials. Just like a cozy, cute space for one person. Now, let me show you the laundry room. It's in the basement of the building. I actually don't know where they got this translation from, but this room has three washers and two dryers. I love the dryers here because not a lot of Korean places have dryers um, unless you go to coin wash. So I just use one of these three washers. I sometimes dry my clothes or I sometimes put my clothes up into my room and um, dry my room because my room's very, very dry. Um, so that's it. We just have that little thing going on. And that's it. Okay, guys, that was it for the dorm tour of Seoul National University grad school that is located in Hewa. This dorm is actually called a global dorm tour. So we have some foreigners living here and some postdoctorates who are from overseas. Um, and I've been here for about four months. This is my fourth month since October of 2020. And so far I'm loving it, not just because of the proximity to my lab, but how um, quiet this building is and how quiet the area is. It's kind of in the outskirts of Hewa, so not many people are walking around this building. And it could also be that these students are um, a little bit older than undergrad students, so they kind of come home just to go to bed, um, maybe eat and relax. So everybody keeps everything very clean and very quiet. One bad 
part of this dorm is that the walls are very thin so I can basically hear everything if they make any noise so when there are people walking in the hallways I usually um, hear their footsteps and when their um, phones ring my next door I know when I know the phone is ringing uh, but besides that everybody keeps it pretty tidy and um, people are pretty polite I did hear that the dorms um, all look very different even the dorms of Seoul National University that are on campus in Kwanak I heard they look very different so I just wanted to take you around um, and show you the dorm of this location uh, that are for graduate students who will be going to um, labs and classes um, near the hospital. So that's it for today. And if you have any questions, you can ask me. See you next time.